Quality of service and class of service is very important in IP networks. Uh, different service data flows have different characteristics and how they should be treated in the network. Some applications like voice and video are very real-time in nature, which means that the packets have to be in order and they have to have a very low latency from the, from the sender to the receiver. Other applications such as email and file transfer are not as uh, susceptible to latency and, and tolerance and things of that nature in the network. So it's very important that IP network operators properly manage the IP packets and put them in the proper priority and the proper order so that the different applications that users are using are uh, being properly rendered. So class and quality of service is, is very, very important in 4G networks. There's a very fundamental shift in the 3GPP Evolve Packet Core and for 4G services. In the past, we've had sort of a separate network that handles voice type services, which you call that the circuit switch network. Whereas today, going forward, all of the services, data flows, whether they be voice, video, or data, are going to run over a common network infrastructure. So there are many ways that they will employ class and quality of service for their packet core networks and their radio access networks for that matter. Certainly the real-time services such as voice and video will need to be properly prioritized to make sure that that quality is good. But they may also be looking at prioritizing different uh, user traffic depending on the type of data plan that a user may be on. Uh, it's a possibly envisioned that all-you-can-eat data plans are a thing of the past and there will be different tiers and different data plans that users will sign up for and that there may be lots of reasons to give priority for different service data flows for different users on the network at any point in time. And in fact, there may be points in time where it's important to prioritize traffic during busy points of the network, for example, to ensure a quality of experience for a high value user. So operators are doing a lot of work today. They're refitting a lot of their core network elements with uh, 3GPP, 4G elements. So they're moving away from SGSNs and GGSNs to S gateways and P gateways. And they're putting a lot of different types of network elements in the network that have a lot more capabilities than were available in the past. So that alone, in building their uh, 4G RANs, they're also putting the building blocks together for their core networks to make sure that they do have the capabilities and, and, and uh, abilities to handle class and quality of service from policy management and so on and so forth going forward. So in the, the fact that they're building new core elements and the new RAN is going a long way in helping them prepare themselves for a future of a quality managed network.